nine, where last year he averaged 14 points per game. The runner won't go for Stevenson. And you got bodies on the floor. Here is Sears for his first three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Yeah, inside out, LeBaron foul on. And Nate Oates, he, he doesn't like it if you miss his Holloway. Now you go back a couple of years to, to Alabama's SEC regular season tournament championship team, and you had Mark Sears and Javon Quinterly playing a lot of minutes together. So uh, Nate Oates has proven that he will play two point guards and can be effective in doing so. The more he pulls down another board. But there is a three by Mo Diabate. Just as you talk about them not having to run blades through him, he drains a three. And we have a roster, some freshmen, some transfers, and when Mark is taking the game. It's taken right back by Wake. And here goes Salas again. Oh, my goodness. That ball is knocked away and saved by Reed. And now a dunk on the other end by Amore. What a great play by the freshman. Darius, this crowd has come to its feet. My goodness, the block and the save. What a hustle play right on cue. Darion Reed starts the Alabama fast break with the athleticism, the hustle, and then the big man running the floor, Cliff Amore with the throwdown. Alabama has struggled a little bit in this game against a good Wake Forest team. Wake has made it tough on them, but Bama right now getting stops and turning it into offense. Okay, so there is the alley-oop to Amore, and it all started with a play by Reed, but what a finish. Absolutely, but to show you the, the mindset of this team with all the work on defense, they all ran to Reed first instead of the guys right. that dunked the basketball. To make that block and then have the head space to also make the save back in bounds, Brian. I mean, you could make a block and celebrate. Ball goes out of bounds and everybody cheers, but he never gave up on the play. Yeah, incredible play by a freshman. Listen, a, a five-star, McDonald's All-American, as we talked about. But those are the types yeah. of plays uh, that earn you playing time and that propel you to be the type of player you want to be. All these guys want to play in the NBA. Darian Reed, a potential one and done. Got to do it on both ends if you want to play at the next level. And he is doing it here early in his career. Yeah. On to Wake. Drain that three just a moment ago. The runner won't go, but there's Amore with the board and the dunk. And that's the rim presence Alabama has been looking for. Well, we've talked about his yeah, shooting yeah. wrist, and he, he was able to play through it and was effective. He's healed up and should have a really good year for Wake. Nice give and go by Amore. He can't get it to fall, but he'll shoot free throws. Opportunity and Mark Sears, yes, he can score, but he's also unselfish. And Alabama with a third chance opportunity. Sears off the inbound, thought about it. Now he'll do it on the move and drains it. That's Steve Suger's movie. At, at their home gym before they get to the big arenas. This is like when they're, you know, running running practice and stuff. And Moray with a massive block. Again, this is a guy that at Rutgers averaged three blocks a game. So, 60-53, the Crimson Tide leads it here at Bama and Bowell. Sold out crowd, enjoying a very entertaining game so far between the number two preseason team in the nation and one of the favorites in the ACC. And there is Mark Sears. You don't give him an open three. That is such a beautiful, well-executed play. Out of the timeout, 